I'm squeezing the tips of my fingertips just to confirm that this is real. And before I tip into an abyss of loving you and before we shake on a deal, before we get down to business, I just want to confirm that I'm not alone in this. I'm terrified because this is too good to lose. Is it too good to be true? It's just that it's the first time I haven't been comforted by someone's abuse. Can I bottle it up and put it up on a shelf where no one can reach it because this kind of love, no one can teach it. I know this journey isn't going to be simple perfection, but I just need to know that you and I are going in the same direction. I need to know... Are you going to take the wheel when I'm losing control? I just need to know, have we got the same fire to alight the same goals? Are we going to be equals, a team in this relationship? And not an ancient settlement based on some kind of ownership. I know I'm not easy. I'm sure you could find a girl that would be no trouble, but I hope you know I have the kind of love that could make mountains from rubble when I'd climb to its peak if that's where you need me. I'd do it a thousand times over if that would it need be. Even if my feet were to bleed, I'd continue to climb. I'd do everything for you if you were mine. I'd read your every emotion as if they were headlines. And just so you know, we'll be playing Street Fighter way past bedtime. <laughs> I wasn't the princess in a tower to be saved, waiting for you to arrive. I was more of the fire-breathing dragon, burning the so-called Prince Charmings alive. You made me so uncomfortable because I wasn't used to what you were giving me. You made my voice feel valid and never dismissing me. Even if I pushed you away, you gave me patience like nobody else. Because you knew I had to build my power all by myself. I used my ribs as cages around my heart so I could protect it. I built walls so high but you never wrecked it. You simply made a door and you stepped right in. Which has left me in awe every night ever since. You came out of nowhere and knocked me to the ground. And now it stings like paper cuts on my heart when you aren't around. I didn't know you could stop my anxiety attack with a kiss. I didn't know you noticed when I fiddled with my hands and my wrists and now I thank your family for raising a man I didn't think could exist. But now I want to wake up knotted up in your morning warmth. I want to see the sun rise behind you so that when you wake up it's blinded by its reflection in my eyes. I never want to go to bed angry. Let's always communicate and compromise. I want to wrap myself in your arms like a cocoon till we burst like the butterflies in my stomach every time you tell me that I'm powerful. I know I'm a handful, but I promise I will keep your hands full of all the hopes and dreams that we can achieve. You give me almost every reason possible to believe that the flaws and scars hidden under what I wear for the world do not make me weak. I'm not always going to be that brave woman that you first saw on that November stage. I'm always going to be powerful, but I cry a lot. I'm needy, I'm vulnerable, and sometimes I, I got some mad crazy bitch rage. And you know I don't need roses. I just want the thorns hidden in your deepest, darkest depths to dig into me so I can really feel you. I want the good, the bad, the ugly. I want the real you. I want to travel through your thoughts like the lands you travel to. I want us to challenge each other's minds, teach things we never knew. I don't need you to say those three words to prove it. I just, I just need you to just do it. People say it all the time, so easily spoken, so easily heard, but I need your actions to speak louder than words, and hopefully right now you can see in my eyes what I sometimes find so hard to verbalise because those brown eyes have got me hypnotised. Maybe we should give it a try. I think I want to fall in love. I think I want to fall in love because those brown eyes have got me hypnotised. Maybe we should give it a try. I'm squeezing the tips of my fingertips just to confirm that this is real and before I tip into an abyss of loving you and we shake on a deal before we get down to business, I just want to confirm that I'm not alone in this.